Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, today I thought I would do my completed pages. So this is probably going to be a bit of a mix from maybe June, July and this month August. Most of them are from August, but I definitely didn't have enough over the past you know, few months to do, to do them for each of them. If that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, I have quite a lot of coloured by numbers. Um, mostly Disney. They took up a fair amount of my time. So yeah, we'll just get into it. So the first one is uh, Grand Glam. Oh my God, Le Grand Classics Tom Free. And I did these two. Um, Elsa and Anna. Uh, I use, I now just use my Tuli Art pens in these books because, I mean, look at it, they look awesome. They definitely look better on camera. <laughs> like, close up you can see there's a lot of, there's some streaking and it's quite rough and there's white marks still. But it, you know, looks cool. Um, so yeah, I did those two and I have started, did the black lines. On these ones I tend to do a lot of the black line work in these books if I don't have much brain power like today apparently then I will do just go through and do you know the black lines after black lines after black lines and then I realize oh I'm actually gonna have to color in them color you know color them in so yeah Next one, Gland uh, Grand Classic Tom Tour. So I've done it. <sighs> I think I did him. And nearly finished him. Not quite. I still got some greens and that to do on him. But we're close. So yeah, that's those two. And I did not do any more black lines in that one. So that's Le Grand Classique, Tom 2. Next one, Le Grand Classique. And I think I've done... Yeah, I finished Tinkerbell. And just have the rest of, I can't remember, uh, the Tramp to do. Um, but I couldn't find a grey that was going to work. <laughs> but I do now have the Tuli Art grey set, so I will be able to finish him up. And then I did him from a Bogues Life. Sorry, I keep moving and trying to... Yeah, that's better. Um, I did him from a Bugs Life. Not quite... Not quite right. But it looks okay. And then I did the black line work on Jafar. I think it's called Jafar. I think so. And then that one. I think that's from Vera Bear. I'm not entirely sure. And started on this one. Yeah, I've not quite finished the line work on that one. So that's the Le Grand Classic. Next one is my favourite. I think it's everyone's favourite. Le Grand Classique, Tom 11. So I've got a few whips, a lot of whips, and I've got one finished. So I finished this double page of Alice. Uh, I love how it turned out. I love how it looks on camera. On the camera, it looks a hundred times better, I swear. So, yeah, I did that one. And we've got whips, whips and whips. So, we've got uh, the casita from Encanto. Like how this one is turning out. What I was doing with this one is I was just going through the first few pages and doing 
you know, what I could find with my Julie Arts I had. And then as I was getting more of the Julie Arts, I was going in and, you know, kind of starting to complete pages. But this one, I think, is next on my list to complete. Um, nearly done this done nearly i've nearly completed this one of the three hours the cats i've just got some more greens to do and some of the little details on their faces i started murder no that's not murder oh my god i can't remember her name i am so sorry yeah her is it murder no because murder's Oh my god, I can't remember her name. Please leave down below what it is. So that's really gonna annoy me. And I actually really like how this one so far is coming along. I think it looks quite cool. And then, as I said, I did that one. And then I did the block line work on the uh, ugly stepsisters. And the Lilo and Stitch one with uh, Nana. Nanny? Nana? So yeah. That is all the colour by numbers from Le Grand Classiques. Now I've just got one more colour by number. Sorry, I think I just ball up to you. Um, this is a new book to me. Got it two days ago and I finished this page yesterday. Kind of hard to fit it all in. It's a huge book. Um, not sure about it. I think I did my five and my four to right. I definitely like the one and two. The three, maybe. I don't know. I think I should have swatched them next to each other for choosing them. Yeah, it's then and it again looks better on camera. So that is animal quarters. Okay, next we're into the actual page as well. The non club by numbers. So first Miss Goya Darkest Desires. And I did this one. Um I did her pretty much entirely with alcohol markers and then just the tiniest little bit of shading um yeah this was a buddy color with oh my god uh lisbeth and adashi adashi Um, yeah, and me, obviously. So that's that one. Did I do another one in here? I don't know. I have now started marking, but ah, yes, this one is a buddy color as well. With oh, I'm awful at remembering who my buddies are. Um. No, uh, I can't bloody remember. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Um, but yeah, that was another bloody colour of, I think, two of my lovely friends. Next one, Mythagoria Night Terrors. I did this one. I actually really like how that one turned out. That was done with ink tents. I think pretty much all ink tents. Well, maybe a mixture of ink tents and my albatures and then some just gel pen. So, there's that one. Um, did I do another one? I think maybe, maybe not. I don't think I did. Hmm. No. So, that is my Fagoria Night Terrors. Next. Dark Art of Supernatural by Francois Godier. I did one page in here. And that is this creepy doll. Um, I did her pretty much entirely with mostly Sharpies. 
and some alcohol markers, no, basically the same thing, and then gel pen, I don't know if you can, that's the shine on the bottles, that was the clear jelly roll plates, so yeah, um, I've been trying to become friends with my alcohol markers and that, because I'm not... I'm not very good at them. It normally looks like a five-year-old coloured. You know, just got on hold of some markers and scribbled and coloured them in. So, but yeah, I'm slowly getting there. Next one is in Wild Mice Yoi. And it was this double page spread. I think I did read. I'm, I may be completely wrong, and I may have done this absolutely ages ago. Um, but I don't think I did. I think it was reasonably recent. Um, this was done with... I want to say my Luminant and my Durant Lightfast. And then I kind of got a bit fed up and just did some paint pen or some bits but yeah i think it looks nice i'm not sure about taking out of taking lines out of um, the flowers um i don't know i'm not sure but yeah that's that one uh, next we've got um the five bears and i did this one um this was done with ink tents, just entirely ink tents with a little bit of gel pen. So yeah, I do like how that one turned out. With these double page spreads, I do find I get fed up and then I kind of rush them. And then I've got this as a whip, which I've recently started. Um, so far, it's pretty much just a lot of gel pen. With a little bit of pencil. But yeah. That is the five bears book. Next one in Tango Gardens, Angela Porter. I did one in here. And that is this one. Um I got these books because I just kind of wanted something busy but easy. So something I could just go in with, you know, gel pens and sharpies and fine liners and things like that. So there isn't really a rhyme or reason. They're just crazy pages that I've done. So that's that one. I don't think there's another one. Oh, there's a whip. So yeah, I have a whip in here as well. And I think it was water-based markers. So that is in Tango Gardens by Angela Porter. Next. Nice little town mouse collection, books 4 to 11. I have two completed pages in here. So there's this one. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, just about to see all of the shine. That was a super golden marker. But I had to fight tooth and nail with to get it to work and then there was this one and then I do have a bit which is very nearly done but not quite uh, this was my very first time using my chroma flows and I really like them and they actually work really nicely on Amazon paper which is, yeah, a nice thing. Yeah. So that's a nice little mouse line. Oh, my days. Nice little town mouse collection. Books 4 to 11. Uh, next, Alien Worlds. Kibbe Rosans. I am in the Alien Worlds data report. Um, I think. All of these are from the past couple of months, so yeah. So we've got this one. Um, this was done with ink tents and paint pen. Yep, 
yeah, in, yeah. So intense on pink pen. So that's that one. I actually really like how it turned out. Then we have this one, which is a, a, a kaleidoscope of colours, let's say. And I did this entirely with pencil. Yeah, apart from me. But I just got fed up with and <laughs> just used some markers on. But yeah, pretty much entirely pencil. With a little bit of marker, paint pen, and gel pen in places. So that is that one. And then I did the Solar Giant. Which is... Albert Durs, I believe. Yeah, Albert Durs and then gel pen. So yeah, that is those pages, his pages in Alien Worlds. Next one is a new book for me, which is the Squirrel Book. And I did this one. I don't know why, but something about that page just really drew me to it uh, so yeah i did that one it was either that one or this double page map one and um, i yeah did not have the energy to do a double page map but it's really intricate so yeah i really like how it turned out i have to admit this book is just oh beautiful it really is gorgeous. So that is the page in the Mona and Squirrel book. And then I think we just have one more. Which I think is my favourite page. And that is in Romantic Country, The Third Tale. This again is a new book to me. And I did this one. Um, I love how this turned out. This was my very, very first time doing, or, well, using Neo Color 2s um, for the background. And I don't know if you can see. All of the gold. There's lots of gold sparkle. The entire background has got just gold dots all over it. Um, yeah, really like how it's turned out, um, and the paper difference between the Jap Japan versions and the English version is crazy. Like, this actually has some tooth to it, and uh, yeah, gorgeous paper. Um, what was I doing this with? Sorry, I forgot to say. I've used some paint pens. Did I use paint pen? Was that paint pen? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, I used paint, some paint pens. And I used... I have a chroma flows of prisoners. Chroma flows. It was chroma flows. It's not paint pen, that looks like a a water based marker. But I can't remember what it was. But yeah, that oh no it wasn't. I completely lie. It wasn't paint pens or water based marker. It was my Faber Castell pit pens. That was it. Um Yeah, so she was done in that 
uh, rose flowers were done with it. Those ones. I think those were done with the pencils. Those were done with pencil. So, yeah, it was a mixture of pencil, Neo Color 2s, and Faber Castell Pit Pens. That was it. <laughs> So, uh, I apologise for being completely scatterbrained today, but let me know what your favourite page is. Um, September, obviously, I'm helping to host Space Timber, so I'm planning to do space pages, but apart from that, as I have just gotten a ton of Asian books in. I would like to attempt to colour in each of my Asian books. Um, which is going to take longer than a month, but that's kind of, you know, my goals for the next, next little while, I think. Because I do like to colour in all of my new books. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and sticking by if you're still here. Um, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would be hugely grateful. And yeah, I hope you have a good weekend upcoming. And yeah, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.